Hi, we're here at the uh, 2013 uh, North American International Auto Show here in Detroit, and I'm here with Mike Petro from Porsche, as well as Brent Warnke from Porsche as well. Uh, Mike, do you want to go ahead and talk a little bit about what you do with Porsche? Yeah, I'm the product manager at Porsche. I'm very excited. Uh, we're both very involved. We're both very involved. Okay. And Brent, what do you do as well? I'm the e-mobility project manager, so I'm responsible for any hybrid or plug-in hybrid technology. Okay, so what have you been up to uh, in Porsche as far as the plug-in hybrid technology? So far, the only announced product we have is the 918 Spider. Okay. It's a supercar, it's a plug-in hybrid. So we're working a lot on that, and we have a few more plug-in hybrid models coming up. Okay. Mike, uh, here at the show, we just released the uh, gorgeous uh, Porsche uh, Cayenne Turbo S. Do you want to talk a little bit about the performance of that vehicle and uh, how it slots into the Porsche lineup? This is the top of the line uh, Cayenne model that we currently offer. Uh, it's 550 horsepower, 550 pound feet of torque, 0 to 60 pounds, 4.3 seconds. So it's really dependent on the Cayenne. It really runs up as far as performance as going on. Okay, so what's the base price on the Turbo S? Uh, $146,000. Perfect, perfect. And I'm sure knowing the Porsche, there's a few options to get out of the bag. a little bit more you can buy my So in terms of Porsche, uh, we talked a little bit about pipeline and stuff that you have coming into the market. Um, obviously, the new payments here, and uh, we've got some other shiny products coming in the next couple of years. Uh, we've heard of a smaller SUV and a smaller sedan. Yeah, there's stuff we're working on. We're always looking forward, always looking forward to the floor, our training campus. So, you know, we're trying to keep it more than that. We don't want to get too big. We're always watching the market, always going to keep going. We're seeing what's coming out right now. So, like you said, there is there is something else coming out. One of the questions we've had from some of our Facebook fans is, what is Porsche's plan, if any, for a um, entry-level sports car uh, similar to the 1990 uh, this year? It's uh, kind of hard to say. It's definitely not like that. You know, it's watching too much. Uh, but they're, they're happy to talk to you. Okay. So can you talk about a little bit uh, about how coming out with an SUV and a sedan and a uh, sports car brand, how they dovetail in with the overall branding of Porsche? And I'm sure you've heard this question a thousand times. Well, I mean, it is the time. It's, it's the brand grows, you know. Sports cars do a great job. They have perfect security. They kind of offer a lot of different family aspects. Also, I'll see you on the brand heritage. The other thing we're working on is some alternative power heritage. It's a plug-in hybrid. Starting at the 918, and then we'll top the super car left to show they can adapt to plug-in hybrid technology and still be able to you talked a little bit about how the 918 uh, transfers from gas engine power to electric power and how that's optimized. Sure, so you know, the 918 actually has an all electric range, so you could drive it as a hybrid drive all electric. And uh, but it'll transfer right over to the gas engine. After that, or you should switch the car to the car and change it itself rather than the engine. So we traveled uh, 800 miles to be here in a Cayenne diesel. We didn't quite make it. We ran out of fuel just south of Toledo. What could we have done differently? A little slower. Like that, I think you know, our uh, size is going to be very low. It's going to be a little better than what we advertise, but still a little short. But your weather, your overall So, when we head back to Kansas City, what's your killer feature on the Cayenne diesel that we need to make sure not to forget to use or uh, to try out? Depends how it's equipped, but uh, it's a fairly base car, a 7,940, which does not have a lot of cars base, it just doesn't have a lot of added features. Yeah, um, I mean, good stereo though, so hopefully you get the most. Yes, you get the most. Maybe for a best driver, I don't know, but yes, uh, one of those two. So, good two is kind of takes the drive over. Okay, well, that's us from the uh, Detroit uh, North American International Auto Show. Um, thank you, uh, Mike. Thanks, Trent. I appreciate your time. And uh, come check out Porsche, and uh, we'll uh, bring you more updates to the show throughout the afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.